We just looked at a test for differences using parametric data with one independent variable and one dependent variable. Now we're going to do the same thing but this time we're going to use a non-parametric test so the non-parametric equivalent of the t-test. We've still got one independent variable and we've still got one dependent variable and the research problem here is customer satisfaction scores pre and post a change in restaurant menu. So how satisfied were customers with the menu before it was changed and that's the pre column there and then how satisfied with the menu were customers after the menu was changed. Now the reason this is a non-parametric test is because we're using ordinal data because this information was collated using a questionnaire and on that questionnaire 1 was equal to terrible and 10 was equal to excellent. So we don't have interval data here or scale data. We have ordinal data which we usually find on questionnaires. So the test we need to use is a Wilcoxon matched pairs test because this is a pair of data. So each row represents one subject or one participant. If we had unpaired data, so two different subjects if you like in pre and post conditions we would use a man Whitney U test. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've already got this data uploaded into my SPSS spreadsheet. If we click on variable view, on this column that says measure, it's really important that we make sure that that measure says ordinal, which it does. If we had scale data we could change it to scale if we wanted, but we need to make sure it's ordinal in this instance because that's what we're using. Go back to data view, to analyse this data we just click analyse as usual but about two thirds of the way down you'll notice that it says non-parametric tests. If we go to the bottom where it says legacy dialogues another menu pops down and we want two related samples. If we click that you'll notice that the setup here is very very sim similar to the t-test. So we've got the test pairs there so we've got pre versus post. We click on the options we can get the descriptive statistics but the important bit is the test type so remember I said we wanted a Wilcoxon test that looks at matched pairs, so that's what we've got. If we click OK, SPSS then runs the test for us. So we get our descriptive statistics, our means and our standard deviations. We can see that there's a difference in the mean. So the average satisfaction score pre-change in menu was 5.7, but post-change in menu it was 6.9. So people appeared to be more satisfied after the menu was changed. But again, we don't know whether that was significantly greater levels of satisfaction. So in order to find that out we go to the very bottom of the output here where it says test statistics and we look at this row here where it says asymp.sig brackets two tailed and this works on the same principle as all the tests that we've seen before so we're looking for a value that is less than 0 0.05 so quite clearly here this value here is less than 0.05 because it's 0.036 therefore people were significantly more satisfied after the menu was changed and that is a Wilcoxon match pairs test